on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. The Cougar is a little bit slower. It does have the air conditioner. It has the card playing tables. We can sleep 10. We have the generator, the lights. It's, it's very different from your smaller boats. Coming up on Bayou Wild TV, red snapper fishing aboard the Cougar out of Delta Marina. Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacoste. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure sportsmanship, and heritage that make us buy you wild. Welcome to Delta Marina a popular fishing destination in Plaquemines Parish, south of New Orleans. As the early summer sun rises over the Mississippi River, anglers fuel up, bait up, and are eager to get out on the water. Today we're boarding the Cougar, a Louisiana icon, and a family tradition for decades. started in the 60s when my grandfather had a dream to uh, to get on a boat and take some customers out and do a little fishing and um, I don't think he ever thought of it being this big and, and grow into this size as far as taking this many people at one point in time we were taking 40 but we have the one boat here we have the Cougar left and uh, we're still running and we're, we're, we're we're still open for business here for anybody who wants to come down and, uh, and do some fishing with In Louisiana, we live to cook. And we know a little Louisiana flavor brings any meal to life. Whether it's Friday's fish fry or Tuesday's crispy chicken, with Louisiana fish fry, you can turn any meal into a bona fide family favorite. Let's all Louisiana. I was fishing New Orleans Big Game Fishing Club Tournament on the Rebellious with Charlie Kaplinger. Uh, trolling and caught the uh, almost 34 pound dolphin.
it's easy to see why it's worth the trip to Central Arkansas for the opening of early season Speckle Belly Goose in Stuttgart. Today we're down at Delta Marina and we're getting ready to board the charter boat Cougar. Boat has been around a long time. Expect to catch some red snapper and probably some other bottom feeder species. The Cougar's a little bit slower. It does have the air conditioner, it has the card playing tables. We can sleep 10, we have the generator, the lights. It's more of a cattle boat. Uh, we're made to haul a large number of people and get them to a destination to and from safe and uh, it's, it's very different from your smaller boat. It's basically the Cadillac of, of boats, and, um, and it's, it's been around since 71. It's all aluminum, so it's, it's uh, with the right attention and the right work, it'll be around for, for a lot more. It's very unique for a boat like the Cougar to still be in operation where you can bring a party of 20 people, friends or family, all on the same boat and share that fun at the same time. You don't see much of that in Louisiana. You still see quite a bit of that in Florida. But here in Louisiana, it's pretty rare to find a boat that size with that amount of equipment that can handle that many people on one trip. My fishing uh, memories of the Cougar go back to the early 70s when I was a much younger person. And uh, we went out, there were no limits on anything at that time. You measured your catch not in numbers of fish, but in numbers of boxes. Snapper back then in the 70s was a tough fish to catch. They were pretty much fished out and through conservation, slowly, gradually, they've actually come back today. Sometimes you're fishing for fun, most of the times. You also fish for food, but when you get an undersized fish, you can also fish for science. What we're doing out here today is tagging these red snapper. These are undersized snapper. You simply insert it right there beside the dorsal fin. Make sure it's got a good tight fit. Release this fish, and if it's recaptured, it'll provide information to better manage red snapper so we can catch and keep more. And by the way, if you happen to catch one of these, there's a toll-free number there. Give that number a call and you'll collect your reward. If you remember some years back, um, we felt that the National Marine Fishery Service was undercounting or overcounting, depending on the state, the species, our fish. And we just weren't happy with the, the, the confidence intervals around this thing. It was too much error. So we put in Lacreel, if you remember, and the ROLP, which has been outstanding success. In fact, it's probably the best recreational landings program in the world. And I'm trying to put, use today's technology on top of Lacreel 
to make it even better and more real time. So we can get, I mean, red snapper is the biggest recreational fishery in the Gulf of Mexico that has an in-season quota, and we need the data fast. Now this red snapper right here is definitely suffering from barotrauma. You can tell because the stomach is being pushed out by the swelling in the fish's air bladder, his swim bladder. So what we're going to do is puncture that swim bladder. Get a good, there you go. And sometimes you can hear the gas coming out. I can feel it coming out the back end. It's like a hypodermic. And then you see his stomach is already protruded back in and now he's good to go. You swim and fight another day. Yeah. There he goes. There he goes. We came down here with kind of a mission with several ideas in mind. Number one, we wanted to showcase the red snapper season, show what party boat fishing is like, and you don't find very much of it anymore, and the Cougar is one of the few boats that offers that. Get it, boy. Yes, sir. Number two, we wanted to do a demonstration and a test for a product called the Sequelizer, and you'll see it in action. All right, what we got here is a red snapper that's suffering from barotrauma. And what that is, when the fish comes up from the depth like 150 feet so fast, the gases expand in its stomach. And what happens is when you release the fish on top, he can't swim back down to the bottom and survive. So he becomes prey for sharks or birds or any other fish that could get him on the top. This is called a sequelizer. It's a weight with a device that releases the fish. We've got this one set on 150 feet. When this goes down to 150, the tongs will open up and hopefully the snapper will swim free to fight another day. This is extremely important because the more these snapper that are released we save, the more we'll be able to keep and catch. Are we ready to go? Gone, huh? Yep. Let's see if he's gone. We found weight, huh? Yep, he's gone. You know, this time of year when uh, Memorial Day comes around in May, June, people start, start turning to red snapper. That's when the seasons open up. Uh, some states, like our state of Louisiana, you get a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, until the harvest quota is, is caught. And that's what requires such detailed accounting methods so that we know exactly how many fish are being caught so we can continue to keep the seasons going or shut them down so we don't go over the quota. You're watching Bayou Wild TV, award-winning outdoor programming.
follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or visit the website, BayouWildTV.com, to watch past episodes. Outdoorsmen, athletes, and parents know the importance of Florida water to stay cool. And whether you're on the water, on the job, at the gym, or on the ball field, keeping cool just got simple with Cool Blue products. Cool Blue refreshing face and body wipes are for everyone. Use them at home, at work, or at play to clean up, cool down, and stay refreshed. Find Cool Blue refreshing wipes and misty spray at Rouse's Markets or online at coolblueproducts.com. Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish fishing one-stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle, and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first-class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. That's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Continuing this week's episode, it's red snapper season in the Gulf of Mexico. We're aboard the Cougar, the pride of the Delta Blue Sport Fishing Fleet. snapper fishing is something for everybody all ages you know the older folks uh, and young kids we had some young guys out on the boat today that uh, really they fought hard they fished really hard and they did pretty well landing those fish so it's not something that takes a lot of skill it just takes a lot of strength, and once you get the feel of the reel and uh, how to work that fish and take up your slack, it becomes second nature. Two of our passengers you saw in the Cougar today were James and Wyatt Butcher. And James, you guys had a great time. What a great way to bond with your son coming out on an offshore trip like that. It is, it is. Uh, I first came out on this boat in the late 90s. Actually, I was in high school. And ever since, you know, I've been on the boat. Um, the group guys I come with, we come once a year. We have a great time. Um, 
And I figured, you know, he's 10 years old, let's get him involved, so. It's real laid back. It's good for kids, it's good for older mm -hmm. folks. You can drink some beer, you bring your sandwiches, you have a little picnic, you can take yeah. a little nap if you want in between. At the same time, catch some pretty big fish that'll bend you over. Yep. I saw Wyatt did pretty good there today on his first trip. Wyatt did good. He caught the first fish of, uh, today. Um, he <laughs> caught more, for, more fish than I did today. So but, you guys uh, are planning on coming back for sure? We are. We are. We are already talking to Captain John about our trip next year, about trying to secure a date. So. Very good. It's easy to see why it's worth the trip to Central Arkansas for the opening of early season Speckle Belly Goose in Stuttgart. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. featuring scenes taken directly from our shows. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. In 1967, Dutch Stagner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stagner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. All right, so after a long day of battling those stocky snapper and those bull reds, you're looking for some nice, cold adult beverages and some hot food. So where do you go? Right here at the Marina Delta to the Ponderosa. Come on in.
So tell us, uh, Ponderosa cooking, what are some of your specialties here? We know Most oysters are Most of our specialties are, are like, you know, we do shrimp and grits. And we have our pasta empire. That's very good. It's a good pasta. It's like a, um Alfredo sauce. Then we also have our good fried foods and everything too. A good seafood platter, everything. Now Mitch is known for oysters. Tell us about the different oyster yes. dishes you got we besides have, raw. We have well raw, char broth, we have fried platters, we have whatever you could want, we can make. Everybody loves the food. So. Tell me about your experience as a chef. Um, it's going on, I've been in the kitchen for like around five years and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I came over here and I just never left since. Well, the word spreads around and if it's not the word, the smell down Highway 23 <laughs> and it brings the people in. Thank you. We thank the Coulon family and the crew aboard the Cougar today for another great Louisiana adventure. Well, it's it's uh, it's it's been three generations, and um, it's it's been a long time right here in Battistella's Canal. Uh, we're back home where we started, but we have the one boat here. We have the Cougar left, and uh, we're still running, and we're we're. we're we're still open for business here for anybody who wants to come down and, uh, and do some fishing with. For some, today was an opportunity to escape and forget about life for a while. For others, a way to create a bond or to introduce a new experience. And above all, a way to continue a tradition. And the, the dream would be to continue this legacy on. So we're going to pray that the state will allow us to fish and, and we'll have something to uh, to catch when these guys want to come out and, and make a day with us. But I tell you, as long as the state will allow us to fish, Don, we're, we're going to be here. We're not going anywhere. Whether we see red, white, or delta blue, we can count on it as another great day of adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage of Bayou Wild.